let's go to order detail view and here we are going to find our button which says print order completed and instead I'm going to create a function right after my body is finished I will say end of body here and call this private func mark complete as completed okay and as a button action I can say self dot mark as completed so once we click our button the function here will be called and what we want to do is access our order and get is completed boolean and set this to equals to true and then to update our uh, order I'm going to say order dot save order to firestore let's get rid of these empty spaces and jump into our save order to firestore where we come here go to order section get a document with a current id and then we set the data which is our current uh, order we just go and convert all these into key value pairs and set it since we already have this order what it's going to do is uh, we're accessing here the same id so it's going to rewrite the properties and since we have changed only our is completed property this is the only thing it's going to be updated so let's run our application and click on this you can see it's false here i will click on complete and it turns to true and also it dismisses so we see our uh, orders again and now my order here is uh, under completed so my uh, order has been completed and i have no more active orders but i still can go here and check this out but what happened if i click on this again basically it doesn't update because it's already set to true but uh, just to be on a safe side what i want to do here is go to my order detail view and uh, before we call save i'm going to check if my uh, current order status is true so i will say if order dot is completed so if it's true we don't want to do anything but if it's not true we want to set it to true so it says if order is not completed we want to set it to completed and save it to firebase so let's just make another run here make sure it works I'm going to go back to my Firebase, set this to false. And let's make this completed, which worked. And if I, let's say, go back and come again and try to set this, again, nothing happens. And this part of the code is not even being called. So this is our admin section we have all the information about user where we need to ship we have all our order items that we uh, can use to prepare the order and we also have all the orders list which we can check the active orders and completed orders so we can keep track of everything so this is our admin uh, application part and uh, i'm not going to do a login here uh, because we already have the code for our login in our main application for the user but it's good to have a login here because once we set our firebase rules which we are going to do in just a second uh, when we set our firebase rules we are going to tell our firebase that unless the user is uh, logged in to application he's not allowed to read and write information to our database this will be our security rules so it's good to have this in place 
since we don't want anyone to access our database. So for this purpose, uh, it will be a small challenge for you using the code already written in our uh, client side application is to add a login for our uh, user inside our admin uh, application. We already have an F user, uh, so all the functions are here. So you just need to do the user interface, which you can basically copy paste from our previous application. Let's go to our Firebase in, uh, in order to set our rules. So under database, we go to rules tab here. And right now it says that anyone can read and write until February 4th. So I'm going to get rid of this. And instead we are going to say, allow read and write if request authentication is not null. Let me also get rid of this commented text. So basically, everyone who is authenticated, logged into our application, can read and write all our database. I'm going to click publish, and then this will have like a timestamp when it was last time published our uh, uh, update to our security rules. So if I go to my data and get back to my order application here, and if I rerun, I will not receive anything from my Firebase. And now if I check this error part here, it says listen for query at order field missing or insufficient permission. So we don't have permission now to access our database because we are not logged in into our uh, application with any of the registered users, which currently we have only one user here registered. So you can try with your uh, current application. Just set up the login screen and log into our application and try to access the current order that we already have that we are playing around with.